In a world saturated with promises of a quick fix, what if the most powerful solution wasn't a magic pill, but a master key, a single instruction that could unlock the foundational power plant of your entire body? We're constantly searching for that one secret hack, that cheat code for health. But biology doesn't work like a video game. It's a complex, interconnected system. And today, we're not just going to talk about a cheat code. We're going to talk about rewriting the source code itself. Forget the surface level solutions. We are going deep, right down to the cellular level, to discuss a peptide that might just be the most important biological discovery for human performance and longevity. Stay tuned, because you're about to understand your own biology in a way you never have before. I'm Dr. Mike, and the conversation around peptides has exploded, and with it, a lot of misinformation. You see online personalities presenting lists of peptides as if they're potions from a fantasy novel. This one for fat loss, that one for sleep, another for muscle growth. But that's a profound misunderstanding of how our bodies work. Peptides are not magic spells. They're instruction packets, highly specific signals that communicate with our cells. And unless you understand the system, the wiring, the networks, the entire cellular economy humming away inside you. You're essentially a caveman smashing buttons on a supercomputer, wondering why the desired result isn't materializing. That's why it's crucial to move beyond the superficial lists and understand the underlying physiology. Before we dive into the core of this and to maintain free speech, this is not meant to treat, diagnose, cure, and is purely for entertainment. Research peptides are not for human or veterinary use, if you know you know. So if one were forced to choose a single peptide, not as a magic bullet, but as the most foundational, the most impactful, the one that addresses the root of so many processes, the answer points decisively to one candidate, MOT-C. And if you're not familiar with that name, I promise that over the next 20 minutes, you'll understand why this tiny sequence of just 16 amino acids written directly into your mitochondrial genome is arguably the key to optimizing health, performance, and longevity. It's not because it's magic. It's because it addresses the most fundamental problem of all, the production of life's currency. To understand MOTC, you first have to understand the molecule that powers everything you are and everything you do. That molecule is adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. Every single process in your body is powered by ATP. Process that concept for a moment. One molecule is the universal fuel for your entire existence. You want to think clearly and form a memory that requires a massive amount of ATP? Want to repair a torn tendon or recover from a workout? Your cells need ATP to fuel the construction crews, balancing hormones, building muscle, sleeping deeply, powering your immune system. It is all paid for with the currency of ATP. Uh, without a steady, abundant supply of it, your biological systems go bankrupt. Nothing works efficiently. This brings us to the power plants themselves, your mitochondria. These are the little engines inside almost every one of your cells responsible for taking the food you eat and the air you breathe and converting it into usable ATP. Now, here's the unavoidable truth of aging. As the years go by, your mitochondria get sloppy. They become less efficient. They start to leak electrons, a bit like a poorly maintained engine dripping oil. This leakage creates oxidative stress, and most importantly, it means ATP production crashes. Less ATP means less energy for repair, for recovery, for resilience, for every single function. This is why the process of aging is often described as just getting tired. In reality, it's a symptom of your body literally running out of its primary energy source. This is precisely where MOTC enters the narrative. This is the crux of why it's so foundational. Unlike most peptides that are derived from sources outside the cell's nucleus, MOTC is unique. It's coded directly into the genome of your mitochondria. This means it's not some foreign instruction or a synthetic code. It's native software. It's a program that's already installed in your system. When you use MOTC, you're not adding a new app. You're reactivating and optimizing a core function your body was always designed to use. In essence, MOTC sends a clear message to your mitochondria. Wake up, tighten up the production line, stop leaking resources, and start producing ATP at peak efficiency. When that happens, everything downstream begins to change. So how does it actually work? Let's keep this as straightforward as possible. MOTC's primary mechanism is the activation of an enzyme called AMPK. Now, AMPK isn't just some random enzyme. Think of it as the master metabolic regulator, a universal energy sensor present in every single cell of your body. Its job is to monitor your cellular energy status. When ATP levels are low, AMPK gets flipped on. When it activates, it's like a brilliant financial advisor for your cell, stepping in and declaring that the strategy of hoarding resources is over. It's time to put that capital to work. AMPK tells the body to stop storing energy and start using it. Under its direction, cells stop being lazy accountants and become dynamic engines. Fat oxidation ramps up, meaning your body starts burning fat for fuel more efficiently. At the same time, it signals for glucose to be cleared from the bloodstream and pulled into the cells for use. This dramatically increases insulin sensitivity, and this point is so critical, it deserves its own spotlight. Improved insulin sensitivity is a hallmark of youth. 
It's how a 10-year-old can eat a mountain of carbohydrates and seemingly burn it off in minutes, while many 50-year-olds can't. But this isn't just a diabetes problem. It is the first domino that trips countless others. When you become insulin resistant, you aren't just bad at clearing sugar from your blood, you become systemically inflamed. In men, testosterone levels can drop, your thyroid function can become erratic, cortisol, the stress hormone, can become chronically elevated. The entire aging process hits the fast forward button. The average 55 year old today often looks and feels much older because their insulin signaling is fundamentally broken. MOTC helps flip that master switch back to the on position. As AMPK is activated, muscle and liver cells become responsive to insulin again. Glucose is cleared efficiently, blood sugar stabilizes, cortisol drops, and hormones can begin to find their natural balance. This isn't a cosmetic effect. It's a deep cellular reset. It's metabolic warfare waged on your own behalf, and the impact doesn't stop there. Let's consider the most energy-demanding organ in your body, your brain. Your neurons are absolute ATP junkies. At rest, your brain consumes about 20% of your body's total energy. It needs a constant, massive supply of ATP just to keep you thinking, remembering, and remaining emotionally stable. So when your mitochondrial output begins to decline, your neurons are some of the first cells to feel the energy crisis. This is why mitochondrial dysfunction often first manifests as brain fog, memory lapses, and that emotional roller coaster you might be blaming on a bad day or a lack of coffee. Your brain is essentially trying to run on fumes. MOTC directly addresses this by boosting mitochondrial efficiency within the neurons themselves. With renewed ATP production, synapses fire more cleanly. Oxidative stress, which is like cellular rust, is dramatically reduced. The complex cycling of neurotransmitters stabilizes. The result? Your cognitive hardware gets an upgrade. You remember names and facts more easily. Your ability to focus sharpens, and those unpredictable mood swings can vanish, replaced by a steady emotional baseline. It's not about using a temporary stimulant. It's about fixing the engine so the entire vehicle runs more smoothly. The same principle applies to another critical function, sleep. Everyone wants better sleep, but few people understand its deep connection to cellular energy. Restorative sleep is profoundly mitochondrial. Your hypothalamus and brainstem, the areas that regulate your circadian rhythms, are dense with mitochondria. When these mitochondria are dysfunctional, your sleep architecture becomes fragmented. This is more than just waking up in the middle of the night. It's a breakdown in neurotransmitter cycling. Your brain fails to properly sequence the stages of deep sleep and REM sleep. As a result, you wake up feeling like you've gone 10 rounds in a boxing ring. You're tired from the very act of being tired. You wake up needing a rest from your rest. MOTC helps by lowering the oxidative load in these critical brain regions and stabilizing glucose management throughout the night. It supports the normalization of key neurotransmitters like GABA and serotonin, which are essential for initiating and maintaining deep sleep. This means your sleep cycles can deepen and you can finally get truly restorative rest, the kind where your body actually heals and rebuilds itself. And speaking of healing, let's talk about tissue repair. Many are familiar with peptides like BPC-157 and TB-500, which are phenomenal for healing injuries, but even they are subject to the fundamental law of energy. You can send in all the instructions for repair you want, but if the cellular construction crews, the fibroblasts, osteoblasts, and immune cells don't have enough ATP to fuel their work, the job won't get done. Get. It's like shipping the world's best building materials to a site with no electricity. The potential is there, but the execution is impossible. MOTC provides the power to the work site. By restoring mitochondrial function, it feeds these crucial repair cells the energy they need to perform their tasks. Suddenly, nagging injuries can recover faster, systemic inflammation calms down, and your immune response becomes more robust and effective. You're not just patching up damage anymore. You're running the sophisticated repair protocols your biology was designed for at full power. Now let's zoom out and look at the big picture, longevity. When you strip away the wrinkles and the gray hair, the biological definition of aging is, at its core, mitochondrial decline. That is the central event. As ATP output drops, damage to our DNA accumulates at an accelerated rate. Inflammatory signaling becomes chronic and widespread. You become more susceptible to age-related problems because your fundamental systems have less energy to mitigate them. So, MOTS IC addresses this trifecta of aging directly. First, it increases mitochondrial biogenesis. This is a remarkable process where your body actually builds fresh, new, hyper-efficient mitochondria. You're not just repairing the old furnaces, you're building brand new ones, massively increasing your body's total energy output. This, in turn, provides the energy needed to prevent runaway DNA damage. Think of other longevity molecules. For example, Epitalon is known for its role in activating telomerase to repair telomeres, the protective caps on the ends of your DNA. But that repair process itself is incredibly energy intensive. If you don't have the ATP to fuel the work that um, Epitalon is instructing the cell to do, its effectiveness is limited. Do you see the pattern here? Energy is the ultimate upstream dependency. This isn't about the cosmetics of looking younger in a selfie. This is about running a cellular hard reset on the very processes that make us weaker and more fragile over time. This is about proactive functional optimization. 
This is not to say that other peptides don't matter. They absolutely do. Their specificity is their strength. BPC-157 is unparalleled for targeted tissue repair. A combination like CJC-1295 and epa more Ellen is fantastic for supporting growth hormone pulses and recovery. But all of those highly specialized tools are still reliant on the one thing that powers the entire workshop, electricity. ATP, the one currency your body uses. MOTC is systemic. It doesn't just treat the symptoms, it upgrades the entire operating system. Let's re-examine the common health goals through this lens. Fat loss and energy metabolism are direct functions of mitochondrial efficiency and ATP demand, which MOTC optimizes. Brain function and mental clarity are dependent on the massive ATP supply to your neurons, which MOTC restores. Hormone balance is downstream of insulin sensitivity and cortisol regulation, both of which are heavily influenced by AMPK activation via MOTC. Deep sleep is governed by neurotransmitter stability in the brain, a process powered by a steady supply of ATP. And aging itself is a story of mitochondrial decline. The very problem at C was designed by our own biology to solve. It addresses them all, not by hacking the system, but by restoring the system to its intended state of high efficiency. Most people are focused on changing how they look, which is a multi-billion dollar industry. But there's a difference between temporary aesthetics and foundational biology. MOTC changes how your cells work. The result isn't just about appearances. It's about having the energy and resilience to be active and engaged at 70 years old because you supported your cellular health from the age of 40. Right? That is the profound difference between chasing cosmetic hacks and making root level upgrades that fortify the entire system for the long term. You can chase 10 different peptides to address 10 different symptoms, or you can address the one foundational element they all depend on, energy metabolism. So let's be perfectly clear. There's no such thing as a magic peptide. Magic isn't real. The moment someone claims they have a magic solution, you should be skeptical. MOTC is not magic. It's something far better. It's math. It's pure physiology. It's elegant biochemistry. It's a set of instructions that is already written into your own mitochondrial DNA waiting to be utilized. It's your own body's built-in system for optimization, a protocol that tells a specific receptor, turn me on and I will restore the production line. There's no hype here because this isn't about a fleeting trend. This is about the fundamental principles of how you function. It's about achieving a level of operational efficiency that allows you to heal, to think, to function, and to sleep with a vitality you may not have felt in decades. Full throttle. All gas, no brakes, biologically speaking. The final takeaway is this. When you support and control the efficiency of ATP production within your mitochondria, you are, in a very real sense, influencing the foundation of life itself. You are upgrading the power grid that energizes your entire being. And in the quest for health and longevity, there is no more fundamental or powerful place to start. Understanding your own physiology is the first step toward optimizing it. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one. The intricate web of our biology holds the keys to our health. And by exploring these systems, we empower ourselves to make more informed decisions about our wellness journey. The path to longevity is not paved with quick fixes, but with a deep and abiding respect for the complex machinery of the human body. By focusing on the root causes like cellular energy production, we move away from simply managing decline and toward actively building a more resilient and vibrant future. If you found this information valuable, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel for more content that goes beyond the surface level noise.